So this is QuickBooks Self-Employed and I'm using this to keep track of all my receipts and I think it's really good for a freelancer because you can just have all your expenses in one place. And the first thing I want to do when you come here is you want to go to this wheel, this gear, and you go to your bank accounts and you want to connect all of your accounts. So you come here and you type in the company of your credit card, say it's Amer American Express and it'll look for it and you just you know basically just click it and type in your username and password and put in all your accounts I've already put in all my accounts as you can see so I don't need to have connected my bank account and all my credit cards and what that does is it when you come into spending it pulls in all the inform all your expenses and all the information from your credit cards and it shows you all your expenses so this is everything I spent so how taxes work is you submit a form to the government saying this is how much my expenses were and you deduct that from your taxes and um, depending on whether or not they want to audit you they'll ask for your receipts what this program does is it keep, helps you keep track of your expenses but you should still keep all of your receipts orderly so my process is first I look at all the receipts I have and then I go into QuickBooks Self-Employed and I search for those transactions. So when I grab my receipt here, I usually search by the amount because it's the easiest to search. And here, I bought Chipotle for $7.79. And here I see this is Chipotle and I have the receipt for it so I can go ahead and say this is a business expense. And I just tap that, business and I click here for the rule, it usually gives a good rule, which is meals and entertainment, which is true. I save that. And sometimes I don't want to save that as a rule, but I know that Chipotle will always be meals and entertainment. So you can come and click this button here and you can go to schedule C category and choose the category that you want to put it in. So that's how you find, that's how you find your receipts and you add, you add spending. So if I have a receipt and I can't find it in my credit card, I can't search for it, it doesn't come up, then I can still add it to my spending, which will add it to my Schedule C. And so I have to make sure that it's the correct date. And I'm looking at my receipt here, it's April 22nd of 2014. And the name is Santa Barbara Auto Group, and the amount is $150.72. And I'm assuming that this is a car and truck. Maybe it's repairs and maintenance. And I can save that into my into my expenses. So I put that to the side and that's done. And after I have all of this inputted, I can go to the tax section, download my Schedule C, take that to my CPA with, along with all my receipts and have them double check everything that I have as I prepare for tax season.